NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. The key to unity is one word, and that word is sacrifice. I remember my first year of university here, and um, we were running suicides. Ross Quackenbush came over to me after I won a suicide. He goes, you just won that? I said, yeah. He goes, well, why don't you win them all? It sounds like a good idea. So I, I, then I wanted to win them all. Why not? So that's the, that's the kind of mentality that I have from university, from my high school coach. My high school coach is still the toughest coach I had. He's the guy who talked about discipline, intensity, unity. He burned that into my heart, into my mind, into my spirit. And that's just who I became, which, was, which is you know, critical to make it to a high level. And when I get on that floor, it's a different story. I mean, I put a lot of hours. You talk about 10,000 hours. I mean, I put a lot of them on that floor. So that's the thing. You see these kids there, see how much the facility has changed, has matured, has improved, and, and uh, modernized. It's just great to be part of that process, to be a pioneer for all that. It's, it's great. If you're not willing to be uncomfortable, it's not gonna help. If you're willing to be uncomfortable now, then you won't be comfortable sitting on the end of the bench. You understand? If you're uncomfortable now, you'll be comfortable playing the game. So if it doesn't hurt you a little bit, it's not helping you. A month and a half into, the, into my time in Toronto, we're training at Hummer College. I'm shooting right after practice. Del Harris is rebounding for me. Stops, walks over to me and goes, Will. He said, Will, you know, with the, I, th I think, I think, you know, I really think that um, you, have the, you have the skills. I really think you can make it. You can make it to the NBA. I really do. It's Del Harris. I mean, I, I don't know what I did, <laughs> I mean, but I'm sure I should have said, said thank you. Draft night comes, I'm expecting to go 51st to Phoenix. My agent says, you're going to go 51st to Phoenix, they like you. Indiana picks me 41st, out of the blue. Which is bad luck, because they didn't need me, they were curious, they, saw, they must have seen my video, because they never called or, you know. My agent was actually upset when the, I got drafted by that. And to me, it didn't really make a difference. I, you know, I was drafted, I was kind of shell-shocked by that. But that proved to be the, 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 the challenge was, I'm going to a, a team and organization that doesn't really need me. My agent said, and he was right, I didn't believe until I got there, you know, he's like, you're not gonna make the team. So my goal was to go out there and prove to myself that I could. And when I didn't, I wasn't surprised. I realized that I never believed in myself, that I thought that I was at the level that these guys are at now. And that's part of the reason why I do my, my speaking, because I, I, I want to make sure when I communicate my message, my story, uh, to young kids, when I do this work here, when I, well, oops, I'm telling the kids, you can do it. Don't let the lack of belief in yourself stop you from accomplishing it. Discipline, intensity, unity. Those three things will help you get results on and off the court. Whether it's this team, your family at home, or the family you're gonna have soon. Discipline, intensity, unity. I think it would be easier to get recognized because of North Pole Hoops. You know, you guys are out there recognizing, identifying people because you know that there are diamonds in the rough. Back then, because of the national team, it was easy to get exposure. So if I could have the, the access to exposure that the kids get now, I think I would have, um, I think I would have seen the, my opportunity in a different way. Um, I would have been, I would have been as afraid of the opportunity. Not necessarily afraid, but I would have known more about the opportunity, known the value of the opportunity, uh, known the, even the end game of the opportunity, um, if, if I knew that if the climate was the same now as it was then. Majority of people that make it to the highest level of basketball do what they're good at enough. Just enough to separate themselves from everyone else. And when you're concentrating on doing enough, Enough. And you stop thinking about doing the best, you'll start to focus. You'll start to work on the things that matter. Not on the things that you see that a lot of people can't do. Because there's a small percentage of the, of the basketball population in the entire world are able to accomplish but what you can accomplish. When, when we talk, we, let's compare it to hockey. You know, hockey's always been a big sport in Canada. So, kids have always seen the end game. I can be Wayne Gretzky, I can be Grant Fuhrer, I can be Sidney Crosby. 
all right? Basketball is not the same. So they, the kids have, until recently, the kids have never seen that they could be, well, Steve Nash, first of all. But even before Steve Nash, he had Leo Rounds, right? So as the game has gone on, as, as um, people like yourself are on the scene, the kids are now looking at these people thinking, you know, thinking I can do this. So the sport has grown internationally as well. Um, and because of that, now it's getting the attention it deserves because there's an end game. So you can you can be an athletic director at Carleton or or Thompson Rivers or, or University of Cape Breton, and you never know, your kid could make it to the national team. Your kid could play the international stage, and that is important for your school because it really is about you know it's about the school. Um, and I think basketball is now at that level. Um, not as no more hockey is not in Canada, um, but I agree it's it's it's, uh, it's come a long way, but still got a long way to go too. Proof of your desires in the pursuit. That's intensity. But you're not going to get anything out of life unless you're willing to give something up to get. Discipline, intensity, unity. You've got to be ready to sacrifice. What are you doing today to take a step forward to become the best player you can be?